So let's see what the energy is for the collective. I don't know why I always do that. I always do like towards the ground. I'm like, oh, why does it always fall on the ground? Ooh, we have love, self-love, filling your own cup, knowing and understanding what it is that makes you happy, understanding that you're the only one that can make yourself happy. Um... Not needing anyone else to put anything in this cup. Being completely dependent upon your own love. However, when you do that, you then can offer your cup to someone else because you know how to fill your own. And you're very cautious to not give it to people that don't fill your cup as well. There has to be an even exchange, ebb and flow, of energy. Loss. Destitution. A loss of money. Is a loss stopping love? Is loving losing? Do you have to lose to love? Almost Shakespearean. Victorian time. Ooh, I love that era. Right? I love the Renaissance era. I love gypsies. Recognized. Did someone recognize that they had to lose to love? That they had to self-love. And in self-love, you lose. You do. You gain so much more than you lose. But when you're not used to losing, it, you lose a lot. You know? When you usually know how to get your way, and you're not getting your way, and everything just seems to fucking go downhill. That's a lesson. And sometimes you have to recognize that lesson. That it all starts with you. Everything you're mad at anyone about is because of you. Because of what you've done. Because of where you sit. Because of where your karma sits. Because of how you're acting. If you don't like a person's behavior. And you don't like how they're treating you. Why are you around them? Why are you giving them that power to be around you? Say it's for work and you have to. Okay, then you confront them. And then you be around them as less as you possibly can. It's very possible to set boundaries no matter what the circumstances are. Decision. I feel like someone's been juggling for way too long. Juggling on a tightrope, like, it's heavy, you know, like, could you imagine, could you imagine, I like, right now I feel the weight of trying to walk a tightrope, holding this. I don't know if you all have been on hikes or anything where you have kids and it, small, little, big, doesn't matter. When they're small, there's so much shit, you end up with like crap all in your hands. Every time you go to the grocery store, it's like a hike. Then they get a little older and they can like carry a backpack and then they can walk, but then you've got one going that way and one going that way and a handful of groceries. So then it's like Olympics there, you know? And then you put them on leashes and people talk shit on you and you're like, I only have two hands. Don't know what to tell ya. Then they get older, and then they bring a bunch of crap that they don't need to all sorts of places. And you're like, okay. So then you end up with the weight, because you're like, I feel so bad. <laughs> you know, like, it doesn't even matter. But that's the feeling. 
because I, I literally just had this feeling a couple weeks ago we went on this hike and I had this backpack it was big bulky a lot of shit in it that didn't need to be in it but I didn't check that was my bad you know I I was like oh yeah <laughs> you didn't check we just went so we went on this five hour hike with this backpack and me and him shared the responsibility of taking it because neither of us checked each other we teamed up and like took the brunt of it but that weight of that backpack was heavy <laughs> we were just like uh <laughs> there was a big thing of oh this one of these and it's it was a paddle boarding backpack if you even know what that looks like there was a life jacket in there <laughs> It was, it was ridiculous. We had bottles of water in there, food. It was fun. It was so funny. <laughs> oh, but it was a lot of weight. But, it, like, when we took that backpack off, it, well, it was just like our shoulders were like, ah. Uh, uh, and that's what I feel like someone's had that weight on them for a while now, you know? Why? Why do we have a weight? Why? Why is their weight so heavy? I, I had to tell you the story. That's how heavy the weight is. To have you understand and relate. Because maybe there's a king of pentacles at the end of this. Or maybe a king of pentacles is feeling like this. It's a very abundant business owner. Boss type, manager, abundant, did I say that? It's, it's like, I see the coin, it's so bright. Oh shit, a tower. Okay, so let me warn you, when you juggle for way too long, and the universe has showed you clearly the path that you need to take, you recognize how to get out of loss and self-love or give a love offer if you don't do it this king of pentacles isn't going to be a king of pentacles for very long it's going to go into reverse you're going to lose everything this tower is here you need to watch yourself and what you do if you know you're supposed to go down a path I would make the moves to go down it. Otherwise, I see loss. Loss. You just recognize how to get out of this. You're trying to envelope self-love. To lose again can be very hard in that condition. So take heed. And if you're supposed to go down a path, I would go down it. All right. I will extend this out and see what happens at the tower. And maybe we can get some signs or something. So if this interests you, my Patreon is in the description box below or at the about page. There's a link. They'll take you right over there. All right. So if you like this, please like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.